six finalists. Did you think you were going to do that well? Well, coming into the tournament, I didn't think I'd probably win as many matches as we really end up winning. We broke all kinds of records. We equaled or bettered all our seats. So this team came out of kind of nowhere to do this. But yes, once we get in a position to win, I feel that, yes, we should do it. But uh, that's always my idealistic point of view. Realistically, you probably don't think you're going to win 23 straight in the quarterfinals, quarterfinals and semifinals. But in the finals, you know, we're going for all six, but um, five is pretty good. I would say five is outstanding. You're saying all kinds of records. Hey, let's let's get specific. This team just outpointed any other team in NCAA history by a lot. 170 points. The most dominating team in NCAA history. And they came out of nowhere? Well, I tell you, a lot of the teams that I've coached in the past are probably a little bit upset w with this team just because they broke their records. But uh, that's what records are, are for, to be broken. And uh, this team deserves a lot of credit. The athletes, because they just all of a sudden turned it on. And they were good, but they weren't great. It's the only time all year that they were great. Well, you got them to peak at the right time. And certainly with two national champ three national champions, uh, a total of four that you have in the stables to come back next year. Are we going to see you in Cleveland? Me? You'll see me in Cleveland. It's just whether I'm on the sidelines or not. <laughs> that's the question. Oh, you are ever evasive. Congratulations, Coach. Tremendous performance here by you and your team. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dan.